Good morning, friends. The heart of the Christian faith is all about forgiveness. God was in Christ reconciling the world to himself on the cross. Jesus cried as his first word from the cross, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. His cry of forgiveness was an offer of pardon and amnesty for all of us who have sinned and come short of the glory of God. In addition to being a minister, I'm also an attorney and a member of the California State Bar. And one of the strangest Supreme Court cases in the United States history arose out of some circumstances that happened in 1830. A man by the name of George Wilson uh, tried to rob mail on a train and in the commission of that robbery murdered the government employee who was attempting to uh, protect the, 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 the mail, the property of, of the government. Uh, there was another person that uh, also had participated with George Wilson in the commission of the crime and um, had somehow either escaped or gotten off. Uh, George Wilson was tried uh, before court and he was sentenced uh, to, uh, to capital murder. He was uh, sentenced to be hanged. Uh, because of some unusual circumstances in the case and because they had not dealt justly with the accomplice, there was a, a lot of petitioning to then President Andrew Jackson to pardon George Wilson. And finally, George, uh, finally, Andrew Jackson became persuaded as president that he should issue a pardon for the capital death sentence on George Wilson, and he issued the pardon. But when the pardon reached the prison in Kansas, George Wilson refused to sign the pardon. That's part of the presidential pardoning process that you must sign for the pardon and accept the pardon. And uh, of course, accepting the pardon means an admission of, of guilt as to the crime committed. Um, uh, evidently, Wilson uh, didn't want to sign the pardon because his, uh, his, uh, his uh, uh, case for, uh, was up on appeal for robbery, and he didn't want to admit the robbery, which, of, of course, implicated the homicide. So, for whatever reason, he rejected the pardon. Uh, nobody seemed to know what to do with it. Can a man be pardoned who refuses to accept the pardon? The case reached the United States Supreme Court, and the then great uh, Chief Justice John Marshall, perhaps the greatest Supreme Court justice in American history, issued the ruling of the United States Supreme Court, and the ruling said, simply said this, a pardon is a slip of paper, the value of which is determined by the acceptance of the person to be pardoned. If it is refused, it is no pardon. George Wilson must be hanged. And so he was. He had a pardon, but he did not accept it, and he died. On the cross, Jesus Christ offered us all a pardon for our sins. He offered us all reconciliation with God. But having offered that pardon, it awaits our signature. It awaits our affirmation. It awaits our agreement. Lord, I will accept the forgiveness that you offered. I will believe that you have come as my Savior and Lord and that you died for my sins and that you rose again from the dead on the third day. I will accept everything you have done for me. And when we accept that, we have God's pardon for our lives.